In the process of restoring our conversion technologies AWS machines, one of our goals is to actually be able to get these machines to run the original version of the game Rats in the Maze. I'm showing on screen an actual CTOS or Convergent Technologies operating system that we found in the wild and restored from RCM 5616 hard drive. This belonged to a company and their data is actually still on here. Now, one of the things that intrigues us most is not the data, but what we did find is far more interesting. And that is, if we go to volume and look at the status of the volume of the hard drive, just by hitting enter here, we see that we have some directories and one of the directories that really gets my attention is this one here called games. It actually has a games directory right here. Well, let's see what's in that directory. So what I'm going to want to do is look at the files. And the file list is going to be uh, the path, which I believe is sys. And then games. And star details yes and go this is going to show us everything in the directory and here it is rats that has to be the game and it's here on a convergent technologies AWS turbo or advanced workstation turbo we're not looking at a convergent technologies engine or comp our compatible machines we're looking at an AWS which would have been the original machine, or at least a version of the original machine, that Convergent Technologies designed this game to run on. Let's see if we can actually run it. So, how do we change directory? Well, <laughs> this isn't DOS, we can't just do CD games. That, that doesn't work. That's <laughs> So we have to look up the uh, the CTOS executive manual, which is what we're using here right now. I guess it's the CTOS executive. And let's look at the changing of the directories. So let's see, in order to change directory, let's hit the help button. And let's see if we have anything that changes the directory. And I'll bet it doesn't call it directory. Let's go to next page. There we go, path. I'm going to type path and enter. So the volume <clears throat> is going to be sys. I believe that's going to relate to right there. As we see, we're in path sys sys. Sys sys, which I guess is root. And the directory is games. Now I've noticed that this is not case sensitive. Default file prefix, password, node, not aware of any of this. So we're just going to hit go. All right, and we see the path has changed to sys games. So now if I go to files and hit enter, and just hit enter again, or excuse me, go, we see that this is a list of files. Let's look at that one more time. I'm going to say details yes and go. And now we see more details. We can see the, the size of each of the files or the length in this case. I don't know if that's length in bytes. I believe it is. So anyway, of course, we're interested in rats.run, rats.font, and t1rats.font. So the most logical thing is to run this, right? Well, I saw during help that there was a command called run. So we're going to try run and enter. And it says, hey, what file do you want to run? Well, let's run rats.run. Now, I don't know what case and command are. All of my ability to research that has turned up things that don't make any sense to me. But we're just going to try this. So we're going to hit go. All right. And so this is where we end here, or at least where we get stuck. Because everything we do to try to run rats.run, we get an error that says it's not implemented, error 7. And we can find it, nothing meaningful on what this error means in the uh, CTOS executive manual. Nothing meaningful at all. We find other examples of it, which I'll show you, but we can't make any sense of it. 
So I believe that uh, if we were to hit help again, um, oh, next page, there was another type of run. Yes, there's run file. So let's try run file just to see if that makes any difference. So we're going to run file. All right. And the file name, we're still in the path, so I don't think we need to specify that. Rats dot run. And I don't know what parameters to specify. I have no clue what to do there. So we're just going to hit go. And we get the same error, unfortunately. Not implemented. Hmm. Where to go from here? So we're looking for someone who would understand this environment from the Convergent Technologies AWS Turbo, which is, I guess, the predecessor of the NGen, and it runs on the 8086 processor, at least all of our examples here do. Is it possible that what was installed on this system in real life at this company in about 1987 is just not compatible? with this machine, even though it was installed on this machine, or at least copied to this machine from some time ago? It's, it's a question we don't know how to answer. See, look at our dates. Last modified, 1987. So I'm wondering if that was when these were put on this machine. By that time, uh, the engine was well in operation. Is it possible that for some reason only N-Gen compatible files running the uh, running the 8186 or later processor were put on here so that this isn't compatible with the 8086 processor or at least this old of a machine? It's a really good question that we don't know how to answer. But uh, we're finding ways to copy these files off of this machine and analyze them, make them available online so that those of you who might understand a little bit more about this architecture could assist us in figuring out what not implemented means and how we can get around that to get it to run on this machine. Because we knew it, we know that rats could run on this machine. We have pictures of it running on the IWS. Thank you, Gerald Hawkins, uh, math teacher guy, for posting those on Flickr. We see those right back from 1981, I believe. So it's running on even the predecessor to this machine, the Convergent Technologies IWS, or Integrated Workstation, as opposed to this one, which is the Advanced Workstation, we think. Anyway, that's where we are. Let's see if we can find a little bit more about not implemented in any manuals that are available to us. I'm trying to research this error, not implemented, We've referenced two manuals that we've been able to find on BitSavers, the CTOS operating system from 1982 and the uh, B20 operating system, BTOS from 1983, and they're pretty much the same manual, but we searched them both for the phrase not implemented, and we came up with a discussion about file byte streams, or I should say a paragraph about file byte streams, and git bslfa and set bslfa. Uh, and we're not even sure if this is the correct context. So we're, you know, um, nonetheless, these are the references we found to it. Not, not implemented in file byte streams. And then again, we see it in the context of git bs lfa. It's only valid for file byte streams. So evidently we might have a problem with the file byte stream of this particular uh, program but we don't know what to do about it because the uh, the git bs lfa is a bit beyond our knowledge right here also we see it mentioned under set bs lfa again not sure what that means but they're identifying it properly as code 7 it's the same error that we get and um, set image mode Uh, binary mode for printer, spooler, and communications byte streams. Again, I just don't quite know what that means. There's probably something in the rats.run file system or program file that's calling something and that's getting the not implemented. But since we don't exactly know how to debug that yet, uh, that's where we are. We're looking at the, uh, the BTOS manual and we find pretty much the same three or four references. This one only shows three here. We see this in the file byte streams and uh, get BSLFA and then a set image mode.
So it's probably in there four times as it is in the CTOS manual. The uh, optically character, the optical character recognition probably just didn't catch it the third time. But really, these for for pre these for this purpose, these two manuals seem to be identical. By the way, you can find these manuals at our website at convergentaws.blogspot.com. Just click on Manuals right here in the upper left tab, and you can download those manuals from right here. Originally, we did get them from BitSavers, but they were not optically character recognized for full text searching on BitSavers, so we have uh, optically character recognized them or OCR'd them, and we're now hosting them on our server on our website. So you can download those manuals here, as well as a whole range of other manuals for this and uh, similar systems that are the predecessors, the AWS and IWS, all predecessors to the NGEN. Various other resources down here we find uh, very useful in our reverse engineering of these systems. We have linked those here as well. So if you choose to dive in and, uh, and help us figure out how to get rats to run on the Convergent Technologies AWS Advanced Workstation. These are some resources to help us get that done. Now, we do find some references to RATS uh, on BitSavers, but it's in the context of the NGEN. For example, here are here's a, a, an actual image of a disk that's called RATS, and it's here in the NGEN uh, folders. Right? If we were to have a look at the context of this, this was some floppies that were imaged by uh, the guys at BitSavers, Al Casso and the like. And one of them is suspiciously named Rats right here under five apps. Now, we've looked at this file. We've downloaded this file, and we've actually tried it. It's not a file. Okay. It is a file. The file is an image of a disk. We've downloaded it, and we've looked at it. And here it is right here. It's an IMD file, which is uh, created by Dave Dunfield's image disk on an older school DOS computer. And I'm sure that that's what the BitSavers guys used to image this. And uh, we can see that this this disk was called rats.run plus bugs, which I believe is another um, another uh, CTOS, another game that Convergent Technologies had available on CTOS at the time. I don't think it means that <laughs> there's errors in the program, but you never know. Looking through this, we can see all kinds of interesting things, even some references to. We see the file name t1rats.font. That's a file that we have on the AWS. Here's some text that are apparently in the game. And we probably could find some of the menus in here. But anyway. Here's an example of what it looks like when we actually try to run this disk or even do a directory on this disk on the now AWS. We've taken that rats.imd file from BitSavers and we've converted it to uh, run on our HXC floppy drive emulator. Let's see if we can at least read any of the files. Now that image is actually made for the NGEN, not for the AWS or the IWS. So I suspect we're going to have some issues, but let's find out. So if we just do a files, we're going to have to specify the actual um, the actual uh, drive, which is F0 for floppy. Okay. And we're going to put a star. And details, yes. So let's see if we can at least read a directory. All right, let's try that one more time. We've made a change on the emulator there. I hit F1 for the previous command. We can at least hear it engaging the hard drive now. Good. So we want to do a directory there on F0. F0 star files, all files. That wildcard seems to be the same as DOS, so that's good. Details, yes, and go. And we get about the same issue. Bad file specification, error 205. I guess we're not surprised because that image is designed for the engine, and uh, it can't open it on the AWS, so we'll have to figure out how to get those files moved. But this is some of the issues that we're running into. We were really hopeful that the um, we were really hopeful that the files that were already on an existing AWS, as it was implemented back in the day, would actually run, as we're showing again right here. But uh, 
it seems that that would be the most likely thing to work is just not working. So we seem to be a bit of a dead end uh, without some additional experimentation. So we welcome your help and we thank you. So there you have it. We would really appreciate very much any help that you might be able to give or suggestions that you might be able to give, particularly from those of you who were uh, who worked at Convergent Technologies back in the day, possibly designed these systems, even designed this game, or was a field technician for the uh, B-20 or the Convergent Technologies AWS and IWS machines. We would love to know more about how to get this to run. For more information, you can just go to, again, convergentaws.blogspot.com and uh, click the details tab. We have this fantastic page right here, specifically on all the information that we have on this game, including this video and things that we've found from around the web that all seem to be relevant. We have those hyperlinked there, including some cool images of it actually running back in 1981 on an IWS system. Thank you, Gerald Hawkins. Thank you, Gerald Hawkins, for providing these on Flickr. And these are images that are uh, archived on BitSavers. Uh, but they were taken from an engine system. So, again, appreciate any contribution that you can give. And uh, we look forward to collaborating with you to get Rats of the Maze to run again on the Convergent Technologies AWS. Thanks for watching. Take care.